We're talking about what's going on in the world. And uh, how about this new study, everybody? This is groundbreaking study going on. It <laughs> says that the drunk you is probably closer to the real you, everybody. <laughs> so now they, this poll did come, the study did involve college students and basically they took them through how they see themselves. Then they wanted to see when they were inebriated, if it was similar, if the true person came out. It did. So do you guys agree with this? Sydney, I'll start with you. So to be honest with you, I don't really drink. And when I do drink, it's very minimally, and I really only have half a glass of wine. So I haven't experienced this myself. And I will say that when I do have a little bit of that wine, it puts me to sleep. And the sleepy version of me is not the real me. Yeah. So it doesn't apply to me. I'm that's the for sure. same. It just brings my energy down, and I feel like I'm not as sharp or anything. So mm -hmm. I would hope that this wasn't true about me. However, my friends who gush how much they love me, and it all comes out when they're drinking. I would love to think this is true for them. Okay, so. <laughs> so it doesn't count for that yeah, side so of the table. We've so been bombed up before over here. All right, yeah, like we drink. You, so <laughs> you want us to spill our devilish secrets? <laughs> yeah. huh? Okay. You, you go ahead. You start first, my fellow, my no. fellow drunky poo yeah. over here. <laughs> what, 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 do, what do you got? That sounds horrible. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> okay, we'll just keep it on going. Um, but let me say, uh, I do like to enjoy myself, and I do like to drink. Um, it, it is a little less these days and yeah. more I find myself working yeah. the harder it is to like keep going the next day um, but I get loud er <laughs> and um, I like the er that was this and, um, <laughs> you know I, I channel my inner <clears throat> Beyonce. <laughs> this is sober. Are you a big like, dancer? <laughs> I bet you're a big dancer. This is so, look, this is sober. Yeah, so it's like, it's just more. And yeah. it's like, okay, calm down. Don't be so loud. Don't, don't do too much. Don't get, get off that table. <laughs> I want to be it. around drunk folks. See, <laughs> my, I think it, it's just more. It's just, it's more. I think I that's what it is. Down. I think the yeah. more exaggerated parts of you come out. Right. So like, for example, I talk a lot. I don't need you guys to co-sign. I know I do. Um, you just don't stop yourself when you're drinking. I'm very, yeah, I'm very opinionated, and I, I can, I, I don't have a filter. Okay. So those are things I have in normal life. Well, when I start drinking, they get exaggerated. Right. So like things that I really shouldn't be saying, mm -hmm. I'm saying. I'm commenting on everything, even things I shouldn't be commenting on. <laughs> and if you just had the camera on my fiance when we're out, it's yeah. just a lot of this, like. Okay. Uh because that's what happens. I, I do think the it. real you so comes out. That's my husband. Yes. <laughs> he's like, please go home. Get in an Uber right now and go home. <laughs> like, so he sends me home. Oh but um, I will say I have friends. Like, I have, I've seen the angry drunk before, yeah. which is not fun. I've seen the emotional drunk. So many emotional Which drunks. is not fun. Yeah. And it's just like, well, I look at that person, the person that I do know who is um, an emotional drunk. Like, she has had a tough time in life. And I'm like, well, do you, like, have to work to heal that? Like, does that mean you're drunk person changes yeah. once you heal that. So I think it could be telling. Maybe it doesn't tell all of who you are, but I think the alcohol can tell something. It's just hard to drink these days. Like the longer you're out of college, I feel like the hangovers really just last so long. <laughs> it's such a commitment. It's such a time commitment. The recovery. I feel like there's a strong division. There's a strong division at the table right here. I've had plenty of drinks before, but like now it's just it's such a time commitment. I can't. What do you mean it's a time commitment? You can be Recovering. sitting there. Oh, well, that's the, like, yeah. I like to get up and do things in the yeah, day. Yeah, but you don't like, worry don't about that when you get drunk. Don't worry about that when you get drunk. I feel like this is a freshman year conversation. Too much ahead. <laughs> it's about moderation, I think, ultimately, yeah. right? It's like, how do you feel your best? And I think as you mature, you know what to do and what maybe not to do as yeah. much, you know? We're being but judged over here. I know. <laughs> it's about moderation. What are you saying about me? Look, I, I think we're, we're obviously in jest, but yeah, absolutely. Look, it can be a very dangerous device um, if you abuse it without question. And I do think it's different strokes, different folks. Like, I definitely weaned off of how much I used to drink when I was younger because of that recovery, yeah. because of the responsibilities, no question. But still, you gotta get a little loose sometimes. Every, you right? wanna <laughs> enjoy yourself. You yes. that's, that's what you I want feel with like no inhibition. How I am normally is how people get when they're drunk, like <laughs> the ridiculousness. So I'm just excited for everyone to catch up to me. She nailed it right there. <laughs> gotta do it. <laughs>